Hello children. Today I am going to tell you another story. In your EVS books, you have already learned the names of many wild animals. Can you tell me what is this? Yes, it is a zebra. I am going to tell you a story about this lazy zebra. The name of the story is The Lazy Zebra. Once upon a time, there was a huge forest. And in that forest, there were many trees, tall trees and bushes. And in that forest lived many wild animals. There lived the timid deer who had two horns and could run very fast. There were poisonous snakes, those who lived in the holes. There were many herds of elephants. Elephants, those who had big ears, small eyes, long trunks and tusks. Do you know what is a tusk, children? A tusk is a long tooth that the elephant has. There were many mischievous monkeys, those who kept swinging from one branch to another. And there also lived a zebra. Now can you tell me who is the king of the forest? Yes, it is the lion. And in that forest lived Mr. Lion, who was the king of the forest. Now, early every morning, all the animals of the forest, they got up very early and all started with their activities. The timid deer started to run here and there. He kept on practicing to run very well. The poisonous snakes, they started walking on their tummies, moving from one part of the jungle to another. The herd of elephants walked very slowly and they were out on a stroll. The mischievous monkeys, they practiced acrobatics. They did waltz and balanced themselves on the branches on the trees. But where was the zebra? The zebra was still sleeping. He was snoring. He had put on his striped pajamas and he was sleeping and snoring, snoring and sleeping. One day, the king of the forest, Mr. Lion, he gave out a big roll. And he said, there is going to be a meeting tomorrow, early in the morning. All the wild animals must be present here. All the wild animals, they all bowed their heads and they all said, yes sir, we will be there for the meeting. Early next morning, the timid deer, the poisonous snake, the big elephant and the mischievous monkey, everyone was present at the meeting. Mr. Lion 
saw all of them and said, Where is the zebra? I cannot see him. The timid deer said, Oh no, he must be sleeping. The big elephant said, What a shame. We have to inform him. The mischievous monkey said, Okay, I will run and fetch him. So the monkey swung from one branch to the other and reached the zebra's home. And do you know what did he see? The zebra was still wearing his night pajamas and sleeping. He was sleeping and snoring. The monkey called him, Hey Mr. Zebra, get up, hurry up. The meeting has started and Mr. Lion, the king of the forest, is calling you. The zebra awoke with a start. He was frightened. Oh God, I don't even have the time to change. What do I do? The monkey said, Never mind, rush. We have to reach fast. So the monkey and the zebra, they ran all their way to the meeting. But when Mr. Lion saw the zebra, he was very airy. He said, How dare you? You come in front of the king wearing your night pajamas? I shall punish you for this. From now on, you will stay in your night pajamas all throughout your life. All your sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters, everyone will have to stay in their night pajamas. From then on, the zebra never changed his night pajamas. And that is why you can see the black and white stripes on the coat of the zebra. So children, with this we end the story. I shall come up with a new one the next day. Till then, stay happy. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.